Okay, today my uh, tutorial is going to feature, we'll work with spreadsheets here, we're going to feature uh, logic and lookup functions. And uh, the three uh, different functions we're going to look at, we'll look at a conditional, the if statement, and I'll point to, to the, uh, the, the way we go through this. First, we always have, we have a logic test here with an if statement. And you think of different logic, if we're comparing two values, they can be equal, they can be not equal, um, they can be greater than, they can be greater than or equal to less than or equal to um, or less than okay so we have our different we have our different uh, logic tests and they're either true or false and if they're true then our if statement will show this value if they're false our if statement will show this other value over here okay so we'll work through example in, in just a minute here with that the other uh, the other two functions vertical or V lookup and horizontal or H lookup uh, deal with looking up deals with looking up um, values in a table. Okay, so if we have a vertical table, um, we first the, the first part of syntax is we we compare the values. So we point to the lookup value. We reference the cell where the we're gonna use for looking up, and then we select the table, and it says table array here. And then the third required uh, parameter we say what index on that table or which column do we want to display. Um, Based upon uh, the the lookup value, okay. So let me uh, let me put that aside here, and I'll go through this example here. So I have a I have a group of and basically it's a grade book, but I have a group of students from a previous semester here, and we're going to calculate their final grades. And so the grades are listed. We got eight assignments here of varying values, and at the bottom here, might as well illustrate this. I have their uh, you know the total points possible. We'll just put a little color in here. Use a shade of green there. So there's the points possible. And what we're going to need to do to find, figure out a student's grade will be to be, take the, the points they earn, divide by the points possible, and we should get a percentage then. Okay, so let me do that over here. I'll say equals. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So for this uh, student, I'll say this equals, and we'll use the sum function and sum of their eight assignments. And we'll divide that by the sum of all the po possible points for those eight assignments. And so uh, I'll review my formula here. Sum of B2 through I2 and then the sum of B25 through I25. Okay, so we got that created one and I'm gonna click and drag that down and you're gonna see this will implode here, my first couple ones, because I get division by zero. And very quickly here, my formula I made a mistake in, recognize that when we fill this down again, we're back to uh, relative versus absolute references. We want this particular block or range of cells to increment and this one we don't because it's always going to be the same so I'll choose to make that an absolute value okay and now when I click and drag this down I get grades for everybody okay and then I'm going to format this too because we want to look at percentages so now everybody has a uh, percent grade here Okay, and whoa, I got one outlier here. I think I made a mistake in the grade book here. I think that should be a 20. Okay, so I'll look and they all look fairly reasonable. Looks like I got lots of good students there, lots of A's. Um, let me do this now. Let me use a uh, if condi conditional. And my if conditional here, I'm going to give them a pass or fail. And sometimes you take a course for credit, no credit. We'll say um, we'll give them a pass, fail grade. We'll use some criteria here, and I'm going to use the if conditional here. So if, here's my if function. So if um, a student's grade is greater than or equal to, let's say, 70%, 70% is 0 0.7, then they pass, and I'll write the word pass in the cell. Otherwise, I'm going to write the word fail. Okay, so if this statement is true, they pass, or we're going to display pass. If this statement is false, then we'll display fail. Okay, so obviously 96% should be a passing grade, 
Let's click and drag down three values here, and of course 96 again pass, and here we have a 0%. Seems to work, so I'll just go ahead and use my fill handle and, and bring that all the way down, and I'll check for some, okay, 71 passes here. All right, this person's got a zero, they don't pass, 14% so failing grade, 38%. Okay, and again, let me just review this. Got my conditional if, and then I have my cell reference, cell J2 is greater than or equal to 70%. Okay, so there's my logic statement. If that's true, we'll write pass. If it's false, we'll write fail. Okay, so there's our there's an example of our if function as uh, used as a condition for displaying a grade here. All right, let me um I've I've already done some work here. Let me just show you what I've done here. I've put together a, a grading table here. All right, my grading table I'm going to use for a vertical lookup. And the way to read this is if you get from zero to fifty nine percent, you get an F. If a person earns 60% or higher, 60 to 70 to get a D. If they achieve a 70 or higher, they'll get a C, an 80 or higher, a B, a 90 and higher, and an A. Okay, so there's my grading scale, pretty traditional. Let's use the vertical lookup to give all my students a letter grade here. All right, so. Syntax here. We're using vertical lookup. So I say equals V lookup. And I always get a little help here when I when I'm in the middle of this, it always kind of reminds me of the syntax. So first thing I need to put here is my lookup value. And my lookup value is going to be found in cell J2. So there it is, 96% for this particular one. Next I need my table array. So I go down and I find my grading table. And I select that. Okay. I put another comma in here. And next I choose my column index. Let me explain column index. So it's going to choose, I have a, a, I have a range of cells here or a vertical table. And this is the first column in it. And this is the second column in it. I would like to display the second column. And so I'll put a 2 in there. When I, when I do my uh, lookup function. So let me hit enter here. And voila, there's my, uh, my grade. Review again. V lookup. Here's the comparison value. This particular case, my cell reference is J2. Here's my lookup table, G28 through H32. And then lastly, the column where the, the display value is going to be is not my first column, my second column. Okay. Now I'm going to do what? I'm going to go down here and, okay, don't do that. It blows up on you. We're back to that basic idea that my lookup table never changes. So most lookup tables, and very seldom will this differentiate most of your examples, your lookup tables have to be listed as absolute references. Okay, now if I've done this correctly, I should be able to pull this down. Okay, and I have letter grades now. Very nice. And let's do some comparisons. 43% is going to be an F. 83% or 85%, excuse me, is a B. Here's a C, 77%. Okay, and we'll look on down there. It seems like all these seem to, to work fairly well. Okay, um, so that's a vertical lookup. Let me show you one more thing now. I get, I have, uh, what do I have? I have 20, looks like 23 students in this grade book. Let me show you one other um, one other tool that I like to use sometimes with a grade book. It's nice for me to go through and count out how many A's, how many B's, C's, D's, and F's that uh, folks have earned out of this class. So I'm going to show you one more little table here, and and this will jump ahead a little bit. But I I want to I want to find a grade distribution. So how many out of this particular group here? How many A's did I assign? Okay, so let me show you this function. And it kind of ties into some of our aggregate functions. We have a count if statement. Okay, so it's a conditional. All right, and, and here's my count if. So it's going to count the number of cells within a range that meets whatever criteria that we set for it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll say first I choose the range. And I look at my help here. 
And then next, I'll choose the criteria. All right, so I'm going to choose this range of cells. Okay, in other words, all my grades that I assigned. All right, and I need to choose some criteria here. And what I want to do is I want to look for A's. And this should tell me the number of A's that I've assigned. So I have 14 A's. And I can go back and check that. All right, or what I could do here is I'm going to use... Um, Again, this is going to be an absolute reference. I'm going to use this as an absolute reference. And this checks for A's. And I'm going to use my fill handle for B, C's, D, Z's, and F's. Okay? So rather than use the letter A here, again, I'm going to be a little more thoughtful. I'm going to use a cell reference because the letter A is right there. And then I can use my fill handle to finish my grade distribution. And there we go. So let me just check this, because I always like checking these things manually um, to verify I'm correct here. So for my, boy, I gave a lot of A's there. Um, but from my vantage point here, I have three people that receive C. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do a count. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Let's see if there's any more. And we'll go through this and find out that that, that is absolutely correct. Okay. So there's a new tool. And again, the syntax for this. I'm doing a, an aggregate function called count with a conditional and the function is count if and I choose a range of cells and then I look for what value is contained in how many times so it counts how many A's, how many B's, how many C's.